Welcome to the library. We're here today to teach you how to find information about art in libraries. My name is Steve Stone. And my name is Victoria Coger, and we're reference librarians here at EKU Libraries. We're going to be talking about resources here in EKU Libraries, but what we're going to tell you today should apply to any library anywhere. What we're going to be talking about today is how to find reference books about art, how to find books you can check out about art, and we'll also be showing you some web resources. One thing that all libraries have is a reference desk, and that is where you go to ask for help. Do not hesitate to ask. That is our job. So let's get started taking a look at some reference books about art. And so here we are back in the reference section where we keep the encyclopedias, dictionaries, and other books like that that you can't check out of the library. Today we're going to show you two encyclopedias of art. And the first one is the Dictionary of Art. Let's look up Michelangelo. We have several pages about Michelangelo, and in with the text, the plates of works of art are integrated in the text. Now the call number area for art in Library of Congress is N31. In the Dewey Decimal System, which is mostly public libraries, it's 703. And so naturally enough, what the call numbers do is put books that are of similar subject next to each other on the shelf. And so this other work we're going to show you, the Encyclopedia of World Art, is also at N31 or 703 in Dewey. In this set, if I flip open to Picasso, I'll find several pages of information about Picasso, and if I want to see the works of art that he's done, I'll need to flip to the back of the book where I'll find the plates of reproductions of works of art, and having it in the back allows them to sometimes give color reproductions of his work. So that's some of the things that you can find in reference books. The encyclopedia and dictionary that you just saw from our reference collection are to be used in the library, but here in the circulating collection, you can check books out and take them home. One thing to be aware of with art books is often they're larger than normal, so the oversized book won't fit on a normal shelf. So when you're looking for a book like this one, be sure and check to the left and right and see if maybe there isn't a taller than normal shelf with the book that you're looking for. The library catalog will help you find books in the library. That's how we found the books that we showed you in the reference collection and how you can find books in the circulating collection. This is our library webpage, www.library.eku.edu. Let me scroll down a little bit and show you where you find the catalog. It's right here. It says Search Catalog. If we click on this, our catalog is called eQuest. This is what eQuest looks like, and this is where you go to find the books in the library and their location. And if you have any trouble using the library catalog or have any questions, you could always ask at the reference desk or call us, and we'd be glad to help you find what you need. If you're at home, you can always use this function, Ask a Librarian. We're going to take a look at three web pages now. The first one is artcyclopedia.com. And you see here on the top where they're trying to sell you some things, but if you scroll down a little bit on this page, you'll see you have a place where you can search for what you're interested in, either by artist name or particular work of art you're interested in, or even museum uh, where the piece is. So I'm going to click in this inner artist name box here and enter Van Gogh to see what comes up. And so you can see that it's found art museums and professional tools and image archives. I'm just going to click on this first choice from the Art Institute of Chicago self-portrait and see what comes up. So it shows me an actual image of the piece of art that's there in Chicago. Over to the right, it tells me a little bit more about the painting. It tells me the actual piece is 41 by 32 and a half centimeters uh, big. It tells me that this is just one of 24 self-portraits that uh, Van Gogh uh, painted of himself. So here I've begun to get a, uh, a beginning of doing some research about a piece of art through the web. And here is our next website, Art History Resources on the Web. It's very comprehensive. The URL is whitcomb.sbc.edu slash 
capital A R T H links dot html. This site comes from a professor at Sweetbriar College. It's nicely organized into different time periods and different regional areas. And as you can see, it goes all the way into the 21st century. Let's take a look at one of the later 20th century pieces of art. And we'll look at this a bigger splash. Usually if you click on an image, you can make it larger. That's what you see. And for our last website, we'd like to show you, we've already seen that they index some museums. Here's one of the most famous museums in the world, the Louvre at L-O-U-V-R-E dot F-R. You see in the upper left-hand corner that you can do a virtual tour of the Louvre without actually having to go to Paris. Let's click on Selected Works and we'll begin to see some of the paintings and sculpture they have there in the Louvre. And just clicking on the Mona Lisa for the most famous piece of art perhaps, and clicking on Selected Works. So with just a few clicks we can begin to drill down and then it's giving us by time period. So let's click on Italy, 13th through 15th century. And it will, we're just seeing the top three images here. They have hundreds, perhaps thousands of uh, pieces of art, uh, painting, sculpture, fresco, all kinds of things there in their collection. And again, we could click on any of these and get a bigger image. We wanted to show you these three websites to show you that you can begin to do your research, seeing the piece of art, perhaps finding out a little bit more about the piece of art and sometimes even more about the artist. And we hope overall that the web will be a nice place for you to get a part of your research done in conjunction with all the information we have in books. So we've showed you how to find some more information about art. We've gone over how to find reference books, how to find books you can check out, using the library catalog to find those books, and we've gone over some web pages. Thank you for watching. Let us help you at the reference desk. You can reach us by phone at 859-622-6594 or by email reference.library at eku.edu. And also for most of our web pages you have an Ask a Librarian choice. You can click there and send us an email. Thanks a lot.